Hello my fellow oddities, welcome to a new video, and today I'm going to be taking every single one of Reptile's designs from all across the entire Mortal Kombat franchise and ranking them from worst to best. Now I've done this with both Scorpion and Sub-Zero, so I think it just makes sense to have the third ninja introduced in MK1, Reptile, to be the next character that I do this with. But Reptile is kind of different from the other ninjas I've covered so far. In my personal opinion, Reptile has never really had a great, great design. Even the number one design on this list is just good, in my opinion. That's it. But before I get started with the lists, you guys know, I have to place down some rules here for the people who haven't watched the earlier videos. The first rule is that I'm only taking designs from Mortal Kombat games, which means no comics, movies, or cartoons, or anything like that, and no games like... NBA Jam. The second rule is that I'm not taking any repeated designs, which means no recreated classic costumes or Mortal Kombat Armageddon reusing all of Reptile's earlier costumes from earlier games. Man, Armageddon was just really lazy, wasn't it? The third rule is for Mortal Kombat 11 only, so it's sort of irrelevant. I guess I can just skip it then. And the fourth rule is that I'm not taking any designs from Mortal Kombat Mobile. Why? because it's Mortal Kombat Mobile. And just one more thing before we get started, remember to like this video to help my channel grow, subscribe, and turn on the bell for all notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video, and finally, comment down below your reptile designs ranked from worst to best. Also make sure to join the Discord as I'd love to interact with you guys more often. The link to that will be in the description below. And without further ado, let's go through reptiles 14 different designs. At number 14, I have the Mortal Kombat X Kraken costume. Yeah, this one is just straight up ugly. Now, like I've mentioned before in this series, themed costumes are kind of hard to place on a list because normally with these types of lists, I normally go by how well it fits the character. But with these themed costumes, they're not supposed to fit the character. They're just supposed to be some fun design that just sort of looks cool. But this doesn't look cool. It's ugly. And these same costumes are also very hard to talk about, so that's pretty much it for this section. He's a Kraken. Kinda. Whatever. The costume's ugly. At number 13, I have the Mortal Kombat 4 default outfit. Now, I will give credit to this costume since it was the first reptile design to have the scales and green skin, which is something I've always liked with this character. It makes him more unique. But... The problem is, is that this costume just looks weird, man. This design is just all over the place. Like, why does he have purple pants like the Hulk or the Lizard? Why? And what is that thing on his mouth supposed to be? Is that a part of his face? Is that his ninja mask? What is that? And this is also one of the reptile costumes that think, Oh, his skin is green, which means we don't have to have any green on his actual costume. No, that is not how that works. I still want Reptile to be wearing green, even if he is green. It still looks cool. So yeah, overall, I think we can conclude that Mortal Kombat 4 is just really weird when it comes to the costume department. At number 12, I have the Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance alternate design. Now, this one is the Lizard Man thing, but... Now he has a skull on his chest, and he's like wearing some weird loincloth. I don't know what's going on in this costume. What, what's even the context of this? So I guess the context of this costume existing is that Reptile just sort of became a wanderer one day and didn't really have a set path until he met Natara. I don't think that justifies this costume existing at all. It's very forgettable when it comes to all of Reptile's costumes. I don't really like his default design in this game either, but at least I'll give that one the credit of it being very memorable when it comes to all of Reptile's designs, because that's just when Reptile became just an actual lizard. But then you just have this one, and it's like, oh, you exist, I guess. Moving on. At number 11, I have the Mortal Kombat 9 alternate costume. Now, my problem with this outfit is that it is over-designed, which, in all fairness, Reptile's designs have never really been too over-designed, so that's what I'll give him credit for, but for this design specifically, that is a problem. 
I think in concept, this costume could have worked. I mean, I really do like the idea of him kind of having this snake-like outfit since snakes are reptiles and, you know, reptiles are reptile. But in execution, I just think it's too metallic and it kind of reminds me of Scorpion's alternate costume from this game as well. And this is also one of the few times that a game outside of Mortal Kombat X has desaturated colors because for some reason, this costume's colors are really desaturated for whatever reason. I think the only color on this costume that really looks good is the gold parts. But everything else, like specifically the green, is just really toned down from what it normally is for some reason. And finally, I just really don't like how the mask looks. Like, I never even noticed this before on this costume, but the mask just doesn't look good at all. At number 10, I have the Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance default costume. Now, this costume is not very well liked within the community because it just goes too far in one direction for this character. Like, he's supposed to be sort of half human, half lizard person, but this one kind of takes it too far in the lizard person direction to the point where, well, if you went on all fours, he could pretty much pass as a Komodo dragon. A very green Komodo dragon. I don't know, maybe it's like sick or something. Now, other than the obvious things on this costume, I really don't like how the legs look. They're very clunky and armored for whatever reason, but I will say that the body area actually looks really good. And I also want to take the time to talk about how, why did the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie, out of all the designs that they could have chosen to adapt Reptile into, why did they choose this one, but make him naked? <sighs> like, this costume is not very good already. Why would you take off his clothes? At number nine, I have the Mortal Kombat 9 default outfit. Now, I just think this costume just looks weird, I don't know, kind of proportionally. Like I think the chest area for this costume is just a bit too small and doesn't fit like how a normal chest piece would. And I also don't like how the mask looks with just the huge eye holes and also how Reptile's head looks. Just looks really weird in this game. I think this costume would really benefit from not having this weird chest piece thing, but instead of having just a normal ninja vest. Also, I think there's too much green on the pants area. I think that part should just be completely black. At number eight on this list, I have the Mortal Kombat X alternate costume. Eeeh. This is another example of MKX just desaturating and making these costumes look so ugly. It's to the point where the green on this costume is so desaturated that it's pretty much the same color as his skin. How does this even happen? And not to mention there's so much brown on this costume. I don't know what MKX's obsession is with taking parts that are supposed to be black in other costumes, you know, a really good contrast to a lot of the other colors and just making it brown for some reason. Why? Speaking of Mortal Kombat X, at number seven, I have his default outfit from that game and uh, it's too gray this time. And this is also probably the worst the worst when it comes to what I was talking about earlier with the, oh, his skin is green, which means we don't have to make the actual costume green. We can just completely ignore that and make it like gray. I also feel this design has a little too much going on, okay? There's like a whole bunch of bones all over and there's like spiky parts and there's armor on his arms and all over him and it's just too much. Although I will say, I like the idea of him having kind of these bones all over his ninja vest, but they just go a bit too far with it. And the only other thing I like about this costume is the fact that he has like this moving jaw and he can open his mouth and spit acid at people without having to take his whole mask off, which is really impractical. Now for six through three on this list, I basically have the same criticism for all of them, and it's that it's human reptile, but let me go through them in order of how much I like them first. At number six, I have the UMK3 reptile design. Now, I don't like human reptile at all, if I'm being honest. And I know for some reason, a lot of people like reptile being human. I don't understand why though. Like, it just makes him a lot cooler to be actually somewhat reptilian. Human reptile has just never made much sense to me. Like. There's no reason for him to disguise himself as a human. 
Like, it's never been a part of his character that, ooh, Reptile is insecure about him being a reptile, so he hides himself. No, that's Molina's thing. Why, why is this a thing with Reptile? It just, it's literally just them not having the technology at the time to actually make him a reptile, so they just reused Sub-Zero and Scorpion's costumes. But now, there's no reason for them to go back to human reptile. Why do people even want that? <laughs> And I've also said in the past that I don't like how the UMK3 costumes look. Too superhero-y, too plated, weird section stuff. It just looks weird to me. And number five, I have the Mortal Kombat 1 Reptile design. Now, this is going to sound kind of strange, but I actually think Reptile's green on this costume is too saturated. No, not desaturated. I mean, it's too saturated. It's pretty much neon green. Now, I love neon green as a color, but I just don't think it works with this whole ninja aesthetic. But yeah, other than that, he's also human reptile in this design, so I'm just not really that big of a fan of it. Although, it was the first reptile design ever, so of course I have to give it credit for that. And number four, I have the Mortal Kombat 2 reptile outfit, which is pretty much just the same thing as Mortal Kombat 1 outfit. Same criticism of a human reptile, although... I think the saturation is way better on this one, and like I've said in past videos, I just like Mortal Kombat 2's designs better than Mortal Kombat 1. And number 3, I have the only human reptile design that I actually sort of like, and that's the Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks version of this costume. Now this is literally just his default design, but human. But the thing is, is that there's little patches of green just to show you that he is not a human, he is in fact a reptile. And if there had to be a human reptile design, then this is how I would do it. Also, this costume is just a bit more designed than the more simpler Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, all of that sort of costumes. Which of course makes sense for those games, but this costume just has more to it. And it also helps that his main design is reptilian, so it is just a harmless alternate costume in the end. And number two, I have the Mortal Kombat 4 alternate costume, which is basically just one of the classic designs, but instead of him being a human, he is now reptilian. I really like this. I don't like how it looks in Mortal Kombat X, but in Mortal Kombat 4, bravo, it looks great. If I could go back to Mortal Kombat 1 through UMK3, I would definitely change Reptile's design to be closer in line to this Mortal Kombat 4 alternate costume, just to make the character more unique overall. And the Reptile design is pretty much the only MK1 through UMK3 design that I would actually go back and change. So I actually think this is the first design on the list that I actually can say is good. This is number two. Anyways, at number one, I have the Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monk's default outfit. Yeah, if you've seen my other videos, you could probably tell this was coming, but I really do like the Shaolin Monk's outfits, and while I don't love this outfit as much as I would say the Scorpion or Sub-Zero outfit, I just think it's fine, but honestly, it is the best reptile design we've ever gotten. I don't know, all the other reptile designs just never really do it for me. This is the only one in the Mortal Kombat 4 outfit, that I think are actually really cool outfits. I don't really like the head wrap sort of stuff because I think that's more of Ermac's thing, but other than that, this costume is pretty perfect. Yeah, there's not really much else to criticize this costume for. I mean, you got the green and the gold, which are pretty much Reptile's primary colors now. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the list. Uh, sorry if I'm not as enthusiastic as I am for the Scorpion and Sub-Zero designs. I just don't really care as much for Reptile as a character because, well, he's been treated as a jobber for almost 20 years now. And until Reptile gets the Mortal Kombat 11 Baraka treatment where after years of being a jobber, he's finally able to be an actual character, I'm just not gonna really care all that much about him. So yeah, remember to like to help my channel grow, subscribe, and turn on the bell for all notifications so you get notified every single time up a new video, and comment down below your list for every single reptile design ranked. Don't forget to join the Discord, which the link to is in the description below, and that's it for this video, my fellow oddities. I'll see you next time.